We have now reached the 12th and final day of Pinsmas. And for this last day, I wanted to do what was obviously the most Christmassy thing to do, and that was share my whole Christmas and holiday Disney pin collection. I have two pin boards of holiday pins. This first is on this hexagonal pin board, and I obviously ran out of room because I have some pins dangling on some ribbons. And then I have some of my Tsum Tsum holiday pins on this. this is actually an Ikea cork trivet, but, but they make great little pin boards. I don't have like a ton ton of Christmas pins, but I really do like all the ones that I have on my board, except maybe the Tsum Tsum pins. I've kind of been debating about maybe like trading them away as a full set. We'll see, but that might have to wait until next year. So before I get into showing the pins, I just wanted to say a thank you for joining for any or all of Pinsmas this year. It definitely is not easy to make a video every other day. I don't know how people who did Vlogmas can do Vlogmas. They are rock stars for being able to upload every day. But hopefully this was kind of fun to share the Pinsmas spirit during this holiday season. And so this will be my final video upload of 2018. I'm going back home to Illinois for the week of Christmas, so that's going to just be a full nice week reset. And then I'll resume uploads sometime starting back in January. I'm not sure entirely when, but I will be back to my regular upload schedule of Wednesdays and Saturdays at 8 a.m. Pacific. And then also in January, I'm going to be working on my DIY craft video for what you can make with fake Disney pins. Since with continually making videos for Pinsmas, I have not had any time to work on that video, but that'll be a little something fun coming out in January. So let us now move on to the Christmas pins. I'm just going to kind of quickly start off with and go over my Tsum Tsum Christmas pin board. So I have two separate sets of Tsum Tsum pins on here. One which is complete is the Christmas Carol Tsum Tsum Mystery Pin Set. This was released last year. I got a bunch of these boxes at my outlet and well it's kind of a weird set because most of the Tsums don't look like anything. I mean out of all of these pins there's only two pins that really look like Christmas Carol. So the rest of them are kind of nondescript but because I had got so many boxes for so cheap I decided might as well complete the set. So all together kind of does look nice but I am debating if maybe I would just trade this as a whole set since I'm not super attached to it. And then on the outsides I have a Tsum Tsum Christmas set. I think that was released in 2016 and I also got boxes of those at my outlet for pretty cheap but I like those pins a lot better. They are a little bit more Christmassy with, with some Santa hats and at least bows on and I don't have a complete set. There are some more matching characters that I need. Obviously I only have Dale so I do need Chip and I think there's a Pluto that I'm missing. So it'd be nice to be able to complete that set but I'm not super attached to Tsum Tsum pins. So that's why all these pins are just kind of on their own cork board here since because I have them I have them as part of Christmas pins but I'm not totally attached to them. So next I'm going to move on to the pins on my main board and go through them all. So this really pretty pin up here is a 2016 Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party pin and this was a beautiful set of pins from the party that year. This is the Wally and Eve Completer pin. So they're hinge pins that opens up and then on the inside you have Wally and Eve under some mistletoe, Eve's tangled up in some lights, and then on the inside there is the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party logo. This Minnie and Mickey Merry Christmas pin is a pin from 2001. I normally don't like year dated pins but it almost feels like it can kind of be part of the star so it doesn't matter that much to me. And this is actually a Tokyo pin. It's a quite large pin and pretty hefty with a pin on pin. So very nice. Over here is a Spectacle of Dancing Lights pin from 2011. They used to have that at Hollywood Studios and I got to see that. So Christmas 2011 was the last time I got to go to Walt Disney World and seeing the Osborne Family Spectacle of Dancing Lights was so, so cool. It's kind of sad that it's not there anymore, but I know Hollywood Studios is now doing a lot of really cool things for the holiday season. This Walt Disney World pin here, was this an open edition Christmas pin? But it's really cool because it's got a spring, so it's a pin on pin with a little extra movement. And Santa Mickey is riding a reindeer. And this was from my 2011 holiday trip down to the parks. This pin over there is just a really cute open edition pin. Mickey's again dressed up as Santa and Pluto is his little reindeer. 
one more 2011 holiday pin, and this is the Epcot Holidays Around the World Candlelight Processional. This pin is really pretty. It's got a lot of glitter. The flames are additional jewels. And for our Candlelight Processional, we had Susan Lucci, and Susan Lucci is from All My Children, and my dad has seen every episode of All My Children probably at least five times, so he was very excited to see her in person. This pin over here is a Mickey Reindeer Star pin, and this was a Disney Store release last year. There are two other pins that I also have on my board that were part of the same set, and on them it says, More Magical Together. And right below that is this year's Disney Store holiday pin releases, and they came out with two pin pin sets. So one of the pins was this really cute Christmas sweater, and then also came with this Mickey ear jingle bell. This pin set was also a great deal because it was two pins for only $5. These two cuties right here are the Minnie and Mickey pins from last year's limited release mystery set. That was a Christmas jammies mystery set. I thought that was a super cute collection, and I had to get my matching Minnie and Mickey together. This Pluto pin here is from the same set as the Mickey, the Disney Store release from last year. Pluto, again, has little reindeer antlers on. This Minnie and Mickey pin here is an older pin. I think it's an Ellie of 1000, and I think it's called something like a New England Christmas. I really liked it because it's a pin that has no year on it, but it's a really cute design. Mickey, as he often is in these holiday pins, is dressed up as Santa. It looks like Minnie is helping him pack the sack of presents, and then Pluto sleeping under the tree. So this two pin set is the other Disney Store sweater set that was released this year, and I think that this was my favorite of the bunch. This one is a green sweater with some Mickey heads, and then is accompanied by a little Mickey Mouse head peppermint. This pin here is a Merry Christmas 2016 pin, so that is the pin that is released on Christmas Day in the parks. I remember I traded for this pin. Even though it has the year on it, I still think it's pretty cute. And it even has this box on here which opens up and you can see a little bow tucked inside. Moving back around to the top here, here is the mini pin that is from the same set as that Mickey and Pluto that I just showed. I like that Minnie is kind of in her old time vibe. She's got her little hat with her flower on. Then right over here is a super cute pin, I think an older open edition, where it's Minnie and Mickey sitting in front of a gingerbread house. And I know there is a little patch on the back where this pin used to be scented, so it would actually smell like gingerbread, but it's definitely old enough where it doesn't really smell like anything, I guess, except for a pin. The centerpiece of my holiday pins is this absolute beautiful, it's like a, I'd say it's like an actual jumbo pin, and it's a Christmas countdown pin with little Minnie and Mickey gingerbreads. There is so much cool about this pin. I love the design of Minnie and Mickey themselves, and the house even has little candy cane Mickey ears to it. And so this is actually a countdown pin, so with this, I'll take it off because it's really cool. So you can use this as an actual countdown to count down the number of days till Christmas. And then on the back, it has a little wheel so you can turn down the days. And then this holds down the first day. And it even has a little stand on the back so you could like stand it up on a desk if you want to use it as an actual functioning countdown. I have another fairly large gingerbread pin down here. And this is a limited edition pin, I think pretty old from Disneyland and it features Goofy and Max on one of the parade floats. I love this pin so, so much. It's such a large pin, really high quality, and I just obviously, since I collect so many sweets and snacks pins, I love how tasty the design is. Okay, so now I have to move to the makeshift part of the board where I had to just put things on ribbons because I didn't have any more space. So I have Tinkerbell kind of anchoring the ribbon, and she is holding a little snowflake that actually spins. She herself is a pin on pin. The snowflake is super glittery. So this is really pretty. And then I think this pin actually came with a matching ornament. Below that, I have one of the holiday pins from this year. And this is the Wally and Eve Happy Holidays pin. I love it when they come out with new Wally pins. And in this one, they are tied together with a thread of lights. Below that is one of the Small World Holiday Mystery pins that I opened. Consensus seems to be that this is probably either German or Austrian. If this is German, that's pretty cool since all of my mom's family is German and I have a lot of relatives that currently live in Germany. 
And then the bottom pin I have on the ribbon is this Happy Holidays pin, and it's a fantasy pin that I just recently got. This pin is from Castle Babe Co., and it shows the back of Minnie and Mickey, and they're looking at Sleeping Beauty's castle, which is covered in lots of pretty snow, and also has some really pretty Christmas trees. Then moving on to the other ribbon, I have this Chip and Dale pin anchoring it. I love the design of this one so much. So all of the blue here is actually translucent stained glass, and they're roasting some acorns in front of the fire. Below that, I have this Babes in Toyland pin. And I think that this is from an older set, maybe from the Disney store of Disney movies. But I grew up watching Babes in Toyland. It has been a very, very, very long time since I have last seen it. And it is, I will tell you, a weird movie. Right below that is the other Small World holiday mystery pin that I got. This one seems to be a Hawaiian surfer. And then the very last Christmas and holiday pin that I have is another fantasy pin that I just got. This is a pin from Alicia's Wonderland and it is so, so beautiful. It's a classic Disneyland D in the style of gingerbread. You have little gingerbread Minnie and Mickeys and it is so sparkly with so much glitter. It has candy canes on it and then also little Mickey icons. And that there is just a little look at the board as a whole. So I hope you have a happy and safe holiday season. But thanks for watching!